This video has been produced by the Farm Advisory Service to show small holders how to approach the calving cow. Signs of labour in a cow can vary quite a lot in terms of when you're going to see them. Um, ideally, if you've got a service date for the cow, that will give you a rough idea of when she's going to calve. So the normal pregnancy length is 284 days, but it can be two weeks before or two weeks after that. The sort of signs to look for in the run-up to calving would be some udder development, so swelling of the udder, swelling of the teats. Um, the vulva might become um, a bit softer looking and a bit swollen. You might notice some discharge coming from the vulva, which you might actually see on the tail itself. Um, and you'll also see the relaxation of the pelvic ligaments. And in the live cow, that sort of looks like the tail head is raising up. When a cow is calving, there are three main stages to consider. The first stage is the preparation phase where the cow is making to calve. She'll isolate herself from the rest of the herd. She'll sniff the ground as if she's trying to make a nest. She'll often swish her tail or raise her tail head up um, and generally just be quite restless and quite uncomfortable. Occasionally they kick their tummies if they're a little bit sore. The second stage is the actual calving stage and what we classically associate with calving. Um, it lasts anywhere from 30 minutes to four hours, depending on the, the individual. Um, at that point, you should see the cow generally lying down, putting in a lot of effort. You'll see sort of abdominal contractions. The water bag will appear, um, and then quite soon after, the feet and the nose, and eventually the whole calf should be produced if everything's going to plan. The third stage is when the cleaning or the, the afterbirth is produced and generally this should happen within an hour but might take up to 24 hours following the birth of a calf. When you're watching a cow that's calving it's important that you know when you might need to intervene or phone for help from a vet. And the typical scenarios where you would worry would be a cow that was in the first stage of labour, was looking restless, had the tail up and was in that stage for too long, so more than eight hours. On from that, if you had a cow that had progressed into the second stage of labour, was lying down and pressing and was pressing but nothing was happening, so no water bag was there, no feet were there after about 30 minutes. Following on from that, if she progresses and there are feet there, you would only want those feet to be there and nothing else for one to two hours before you would then go in and offer assistance. Other warning signs would include a bad smell coming from the cow or the calf, um, an excess of blood and the production of the cleaning or the afterbirth at the same time or before the calf. Before you start calving the cow it's important that you have all the equipment that you need ready. Um, you need a halter to restrain the cow you need some disinfectant to go into your water, so some warm water and a clean bucket. Some gloves, which are optional, so if you're worried that the cow might have any sort of infection or there's a bad smell associated with the calving, definitely use them. Some people prefer not to use gloves because they feel they get better sensation without them and they get a better grip of the calf if they're trying to apply traction. Some lube, so this is a liquid lube, but you get powder lubes as well and some ropes. So the sort of minimum would be um, a head rope and the alternative to the head rope is this sort of wire contraption which you might see a sort of plastic form of these as well. And then you need two leg ropes and it's quite handy if your leg ropes are different colours so you can use the red rope onto the right leg and the blue rope onto the left leg. In order to actually extract the calf you want to make use of some sort of calving aid. So this is an example of one type of calving aid, but there are lots of different calving aids available. If you don't have a calving aid, you can just get hold of the ropes and pull them yourself, but that can be quite sore on your hands. So if you have a couple of lengths of wood, you can attach your ropes onto the wood and that can um, be less painful on your hands when you're extracting. When you're calving a cow, it's important you've got somewhere suitable to restrain the cow for your initial examination. Ideally, this would be a crush um, where you can have her completely secure. If you don't have a crush, you could make use of a head yoke or a calving gate. And if you don't have one of them, simply getting a cow behind a gate can be enough to initially get a halter on her, but you'll, you'll definitely need some helpers in order to do that. To prepare the cow for examination, we want to make sure the vulva itself is really clean.
So to do this, ideally you have someone that can hold on to the tail for you to keep the tail out of the way. And you're going to get a bucket with some warm water and some disinfectant in it. You're going to dip some paper towel or kitchen roll, whatever you have, and then just wipe the surface of the vulva. Always get a fresh piece of paper each time you go back into your bucket and make sure you get rid of any fecal contamination.